What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about Trey Burke Bass. This one came from lots of comment requests and as I mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to make this one a long series so just let me know in the comment section any bass recommendation so I'll have an idea which ones are the most used ones because unfortunately I can't cover all hundreds of basses. And try to watch the whole video so it'll make full sense, especially this one, it's not going to be that long anyway. So now for the shot speed of all these four, Trey Burke was the slowest. So let's put Steph Curry bass into the mix for more perspective. And as you can see here, Trey Burke is still the slowest. And for another perspective, as you can see here, bass 98 is the same as D-Wade. So it means bass 98 is faster than Trey Burke. So it means of all these popular basses that I already covered, Trey Burke is one of the slowest. And now for the front challenge, surprisingly, even it has the one of the slowest shot speed of all those, the challenge reduction is really good. Just behind set shot 25, which is on the top so far. So this one here reminds us that it's not all about the shot speed. Your front drift, your side drift, and your elevation really matters as well. In here, one potential reason is the super high elevation. I think it's kind of obvious here that it's really high, the Trey Burke bass. So before we go to the next part, just want to quickly promote my new gaming channel. If you're a gamer, you probably can relate on some videos in there, especially this one. This one is kind of hilarious. <laughs> go check it out, drop a like or a comment, and of course subscribe if you like the channel. Link will be in the pinned comment section down below. So now going back in terms of side drift, it's not that bad to be honest, but it fell down a bit on the rankings. Because Trey Young and Curry pretty much lands on the same spot. So now for the summary, that's the ranking that we have. I know it's only second to set shot 25, but if I am to choose, I will take Trey Burke than 25 because it has slower shot speed. And naturally, slower shot speed is much easier to green. And now going back to the chart, I know green window is not included in there, but for me personally, front challenge weighs more than green window because challenge includes a lot of things like elevation, shot speed, side drift, and front drift. And at the end of the day, challenge will affect your green window by a lot anyway. Yeah, if there's a green window difference, of course it kind of matter, but I don't think it matters much. And just a quick reminder, all these are just stats. If a base is really good, statistically, it doesn't necessarily mean that for sure it's going to be the best for you. It always depends on your playstyle or preference. So again, let me know in the comment section what base you want me to cover next. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.